Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Coupe in Sebring Orange Metallic on black leather interior. Uh, so we'll just start over at the rear of the vehicle, let you have a look. Um, so this is a Z51 2LT model. Uh, it's got the glass roof here in the back. In front of that we do have the uh, motor, which is a V8 6.2 liter motor, uh, 495 horsepower paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Uh, so we'll go ahead, we'll close the trunk lid. Uh, it does have soft close, so I'll simply press and it will pull itself shut. We've got the carbon flash badge package, carbon flash around the rear window, and we also have the uh, rear view mirror camera. So there's actually a camera just in this uh, housing here that will display on the uh, rear view mirror. Very neat. Uh, it's got the Z51 color match uh, spoiler there. We've got LED uh, taillights. We've got the reverse camera just above the license plate for when you're backing up. And we've got rear cross traffic alert sensors in the rear bumper. This one has the MPP performance exhaust. So there's two ports there and two ports on that side. Um, electronically, you can open and close valves on them to make the exhaust louder or quieter based on your setting. So we'll shift around this side here. Here's your rear wheel. It's got the nice carbon flash metallic wheels with the silver ring around the outside. Uh, we've got the black Z51 painted calipers and nice Michelin tires. Along the bottom there, we've got the nice rocker extensions. And then at the passenger door panel, we've got nice baseball stitching. We've got the Bose Performance Series stereo. Uh, we've got uh, two user programmable memory for the driver's, or excuse me, the passenger seat, power windows, power locks, and electronic door release. Here's the kick plate on the passenger side. So overall, it's in pretty good shape. There is some minor scuffing on it. So we'll go ahead and polish it. We'll make it look the best we can. For the power seat, we've got power four, aft, up, down, power recline, lumbar, and side bolster adjustments. And I'll just go ahead and scan up that seat so you can see the condition. These are the GT1 seats uh, with the orange seat belts. So as I get in, just have a look in the door frame. Nice and clean. And uh, we'll check out the glove box here. Uh, so this one's got the original books with it. That's great. Uh, baseball stitching on the dash, upper and lower. Very neat design here. Looks great. So we'll go ahead, we'll hop out, and we'll close this side up. For the mirror, we've got the carbon flash mirror holder with the uh, Sebring orange mirror. Uh, also in the mirror, there is a blind spot monitor. Uh, so when someone's in your blind spot, it will light up and let you know. So we'll just step to the back of the vehicle and we'll scan along this side of the car so you can see the condition. And we'll stop here at the front wheel. So again, nice carbon flash wheels, uh, black Z51 calipers, and nice Michelin tires on there. So we'll slide around to the front. Under the front or front trunk, we've got the uh, Z51 brake coolers and we have the front uh, uh, license plate bracket cover and we have the cargo netting. Um, there's also a 12 volt socket there and we've got our washer fluid topped up here. So we'll go ahead, we'll close this and we'll have a look from the back. Uh, so we've got the nice LED projector headlights, LED daytime running lights and turn signals. We've got the nice carbon flash inserts along the lower portion. Uh, we've got front curve view cameras there. Looks good. Uh, in terms of condition, I'll just take a close look, see what we can point out here. Um, so overall, it's pretty clean. Um, just looking closely here to see if I see any stone chips. I think there's one little pinhead size one right there. And there's one right, right there. So we'll go ahead, we'll touch those up when we polish the car. And I'll carry on to the other side here. So there's your other front wheel. So again, nice set 51 uh, black calipers, uh, carbon flash wheels, Michelin tires, and same thing here on the back. Fantastic. So we'll move up to the driver's side. The driver's side, we've got our power folding mirrors. We've got power mirror controls. We've got power windows, Bose Performance Series stereo, two user programmable memory, and a programmable Alexa button on the driver's side, which does your mirrors, your steering wheel, uh, as well as your seat. We've got uh, lock, unlock, uh, electronic door release, and the two uh, trunk releases down below with the pocket for storage. Here's the kick plate on the driver's side. Um, so there's a little bit of minor scuffing there. We'll go ahead and polish it. We'll make it look the best we can for you. For the power seat, we've got power four, aft, up, down, power recline, lumbar, and side bolster adjustments. And I'll just go ahead and scan up the seat so you can see the condition. Awesome. So as we get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and clean. And we'll get in, we'll fire this one up. So in terms of kilometers, we have 18,856. No warning lights or issues there on the dash. I've just put it in Z mode, so the dash went red. Uh, exhaust ports opened. 
Down here we have our cruise control. Over here is our favorites or track change for the radio. On this side we've got volume controls. Up top we've got heated steering wheel, voice command, telephone answer, and telephone hang up. Uh, here are our arrow keys, which I'll just show you here on the dash. Uh, so that gives you trip computer, performance, audio, maintenance, uh, options and simplify. Uh, up top is our paddle shifter plus and minus. Inside is baseball stitching uh, with the uh, center point in black. Um, I'll just show you here on the dash. We've got the uh, heads up display. So I'll we'll just focus in on that and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll move it so we can move the image. Uh, we can also brighten the image up and we can change uh, what information is displayed on the windshield. So neat feature. Those controls are just down here on the left. Uh, we also have power tilt and telescopic steering column, uh, dash dimmer, and uh, parking uh, brake. Uh, over here is push button start, and then up top we've got our radio. So uh, we'll hit home again. We've got audio, which is AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth streaming, USB, auxiliary line in. Uh, you've got telephone controls, and we've got navigation. So full factory nav, uh, you can set up a Wi-Fi hotspot by subscription. You can program users to the car. We've got settings, so I'll just show you here. There's an array of settings that you can uh, play with on the vehicle for the vehicle, the apps, as well as the system itself. Um, we've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so with a compatible phone, you can mirror your phone on the screen. Um, I'll show you the cameras. So that's the front single image. Uh, if we go to this one here, there's your dual image with your one image of the two images paired together. Uh, there's a reverse image, and we'll go back, PDR. So for PDR, uh, there's actually a camera in front of the mirror that watches the uh, road, so you can record your driving to an SD card uh, that you can install in the uh, glove box. So very neat feature. Um, down below, you've got uh, traction control on and off, front lift, so when we hit the front lift button, as you can see here, it says vehicle raising. It actually raises the front end of the car a few inches to make it easier to get over um, bumps and steep driveways. Uh, the other button is the uh, quick button to your camera. And then this dial here is your mode selector for your drive mode. Um, so I'll show you there. I've just moved it all the way to the right, which is track mode. And then we get sport beside that. Um, and then touring and my mode, uh, weather, and then of course, if we hit the Z button there, it goes into Z mode. Um, so that's the mode selector. Up here is climate control. So this is driver's temperature and uh, driver's heated and cooled seat. And um, you know, all the different settings there for your automatic climate control. Down below is our passenger seat and our passenger temperature. We've got a cup holder in here. Um, it does have two keys, uh, two remotes with remote start. So that's great. And then in here we have two USB ports, auxiliary line in, and the SD card for the nav. This is a wireless charger for your phone. And I'll just give you a shot. There's the motor there running. Awesome machine. So now we'll just hop out and we'll have a look and listen while it's running. Great sound to it. And uh, I'll just show you here from the front with the uh, headlights on. Nice and bright. And we'll just move along this side of the vehicle so you can see the condition. Here it is from the back. Nice chug to that exhaust. Love the sound. What a great color. There you have it folks, 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Coupe 2LT Z51 with a glass roof and Sebring orange. You're available at MonroeMotors.com. Come on down and have a look at this one for yourself. Look forward to seeing you real soon.